<laughs> Were we going to be deported? Were they going to come but after us? The government of Canada is questioning where you've been, what you've been doing. Too close to some sort of government operation. Welcome to the Pacific Northwest. We're Ingrid and Jim, a couple seeking new adventures aboard our 37-foot sailboat, Indigo. We're gonna drag it backwards and wash that off. Okay. okay. Uh, huh? I think it's good. Yeah, it's good. As we left the San Juan Islands headed for Canada, we had no idea how the next week was going to play out. No idea that we would soon be unwitting players in a match of international government confiscation. Is that a bird? Log? Crab pot? Okay. As we entered the southern Gulf Islands of British Columbia. the border. We're in Canada. Canada. We're going to go check into Benwell Harbor where they have a customs check-in and hopefully that will go smoothly. We originally planned to arrive yesterday so our online entry information indicates a arrival um, the day before so it should be The last time we checked into Canada from the United States, it didn't exactly go as planned. It's that little house right up here. This time, on the surface, everything seemed to go as smooth as could be. It's official. We're back in Canada. So what do you think of this place? Beautiful. It is. Gorgeous. And gorgeous. <laughs> but behind the scenes, the situation was different. As we departed Bedwell Harbor, Canadian Border Service agents began tracking our every move. So here we have Pender Island, BC, which is part of Canada. And right across the water here, we have Stewart Island, which is part of the U.S. So just like the British Virgin Islands and the U.S. Virgin Islands, this archipelago of islands has a border right through it. So I wonder if there's any other place in the world like it. Overnight anchorage on Saturna Island, Winter Cove is part of Canada's Gulf Islands National Park. A short loop hike from the dinghy dock lies Boat Pass, 
a narrow, barely navigable channel between Saturna Island and Samuel Island. Strong currents here regularly exceed five knots through a zigzag channel with hidden reefs, making it too dangerous for indigo to pass through into the open strait of Georgia. Behind the scenes, Canadian Border Services continued to track our movements as we made our way to the town of Ganges on Salt Spring Island. Once we got to land, at least for a while, border agents were unable to follow us. All they knew was the location of our boat. Let's go get a boat. wild cider um, on this beautiful farm. Very good restaurant here, so we hear. It's a popular destination on the weekends. So we got two of the traditional samplers from dry to grapefruit. grapefruit. <laughs> First impression. It's dry. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> I agree. No, it's tasty. It's very floral, but a little drier, kind of like a, almost like a champagne, like a brute. So this is made from wild apples here on Salt Spring Island. This is fun. We've never been to this island before. We have no idea what we're going to find once we get out there. So far, so good. The famous Saturday market in Ganges on Salt Spring Island is a perfect opportunity to provision our boat with island-grown organic produce before our planned departure tomorrow. It's known as one of the most popular outdoor markets in all of Canada. To participate, vendors must make it, bake it, or grow it themselves as well as sell their own products at their booth. It's another reason why this island has become one of our favorite cruising destinations in the Salish Sea.
just received a call from the government of Canada, so I figured I probably should pick it up. It's pro likely not spam. Uh, and they were asking uh, questions about our our passage and where we had checked in and where we had been in the last week, inquiring about our location because there's a boat with the same name, Indigo, who had checked in to Port Renfrew on September 9th, and so they were confused on how we had checked into two places. And so we gave them our MMSI number, and it turns out that's not the boat they're looking for. But it was a little uh, unnerving, I guess, to be called by the government questioning where you've been, what you've been doing, and it's like, oh, did we do something wrong? Did we, like, you know, you know, sail through a ha wildlife habitat where we weren't supposed to? Did we get too close to some sort of government operation? <laughs> so, were, they, were they gonna come but, after us? <laughs> were we gonna be deported? <laughs> Fortunately, it, you know, someone else, so yeah, good news. And now that the Canadian authorities were no longer worried about us and the location of our boat, we were free to relax for the evening before continuing on the next morning to explore more of BC's Gulf Islands. Mm -hmm.